Hi ladybugs, it's Yolanda here and it is a cold and wet and rainy day here in Pretoria in South Africa. But um, I'm going to do a flip through of these two journals, they be journals, which I have made for a client. Um, so I, I'll, I will try and make it as quick as possible, you know me. I have this here, which is one of my magnet tags. <clears throat> which I need to find a place to put it in the journal because I almost forgot and the client did request it so this is the cover and I've used fabric and it was just too bright so I put some lace on top of it as well just you know wasn't looking right and this is the back which is just stenciled with various colors mostly on this I used um, the tea dye distress ink which is this one here and then I've used some pinks and uh, like a dusky pink and some blue so this is the side and it's got lots of dangles if I can just pull them out <laughs> here we go um, uh -oh, why are you caught there here we go so that is the side and this is the front or the top rather it's got two signatures and it's oh, I don't know about 32 pages uh, which you need to double so it's about 70 pages more or less it's actually more than that I don't know <laughs> so anyway I made this little uh, mason jar and it's got lots of tags lots of goodies in it a beautiful uh, laminated pouch there um, is this open? Yes, and this one, I've just put a tag in there. I will list the kits below because they are gorgeous and they incorporate a bit of blue in them, which I love. So it's not just plain, well, it's not plain at all, but you know what I mean. It's not yellow, just yellow and cream. And why aren't you going in there? There we go. So I think a beautiful big photograph in here would go great, but you know, whatever. So this opens out like this. It is magnetized. This is a folder and of course you have your usual pocket. This is actually from one of my blouses. <laughs> the button. <laughs> anyway, this is a little bit of like a trifold I suppose. I don't know what to call concertina. So you open like so, so you can write on there. And then of course you can open like that. And there you have your trifold. No, not trifold, concertina. Hey, where are my words today? So that's this. Um, you can see I stitched fabric actually onto the chipboard. My machine didn't mind it at all. I was making a test. So these are just little pieces of ephemera. There's some more laminated. And I'm going to do a video. After this, I'm going to do a video. I don't know if you can see that. To show you how I did this. It's very, very easy. I've been saying I'm going to do one for a while now and I still haven't done it. And this is a little charm here. Well, yeah, it is a charm, which is off a bracelet and just beads. Um, and then this here. Just open. See that? And it's just got a pocket with some tags inside it. And it goes crossways like that. Then that is there. We have another tag with bits and pieces of ephemera. And this is left out of a laminating pouch. And like so, this kit is really... I've used several kits here. I've also used some tags and journal, uh, journal cards from Amity Blue. This is Tim Holtz. It's got all the bees there. So I thought I would add it. And just a postcard. I think this is die cuts with a view. It's a paper pad. Very nice one. I don't remember what it's called. But we have stenciling, a collage, and paper to write. So there's plenty of writing space. Another collage of fabric. This is a journal card which I've used a glaze on it. Okay. Butterfly sent me by the client. This is another folder. So that can open up and this is scrapbooking paper so it can be used to put photographs as well because I know my client wants to put photographs 
just tags, planting space, tuck spot. You see, this is from Amity Bloom, her California Dreaming one. Let me just do this quickly. It's, yeah. And just very pockets. Pockets. Again, this is um, Amity Bloom. Just some journaling space there. Tuck spot with a emboss. This is gorgeous. 3D embossing on it from the kit. Just some embossing here. This is a nice uh, big belly band. So I just put a tag in there. And these, simple, sewn on. And so on and so forth. This is an altered paper clip with a great big B on it. And a journal card. I actually printed these onto cardstock. So I thought they came out quite nice, rather just onto ordinary paper, you know. And we have another tuck spot here, little cards in here. Look at this, isn't she gorgeous? And just a bit of a collage, another big, because she wants to put lots of stuff in there. Another big uh, tuck spot. And you see I, left, I made the spine three inches. So this is like an A5 journal and um, I made the spine three inches so when she puts stuff in <coughs> you know it gives a bit of leeway there an altered paper bag with um, an envelope this is an envelope that I use and I put it on top and of course there and then the back more tags some stenciling etc writing and I don't know where I got this from <laughs> and my cute little bee there so that goes there. This now just comes open like that, very simple. So we have little cards, tags, etc. here. So it's a pocket that flips open and it goes like so. Also embossed. I just left it plain. You know, I thought the embossing speaks for itself. Another one of these laminated uh, pouch things that I will show you. And then this also opens that way. So we have a big uh, uh, photo mat here so photographs can go here and here or whatever it is and I also did some glazing on here as well and it looks quite beautiful there's a lot of work in this but then we all do lots of work in our journals don't we and that's that is why I have been so quiet on my page that's why I don't like taking custom orders anymore you know because it takes me away from being active on my page and on YouTube so this is a pocket here and this is from the kit I mean how cute is that again I used glazing this glazing I have it right here is it this is actually embossing powder cotton candy the speckle one love this one and I have the glaze I used this one to do the, the embossing glaze so let's just put this here two little uh, another little pocket here and this is a belly band with some journaling there so here is an envelope and I've just attached it with a tag I actually uh, a dangle I got in the swap that one and then this is another one with that same can you see that it, they, they really come up very nice it's just uh, different and then you know just pretty it up there's some more of that glazing and that opens like so with a little pocket with tags oh yes let me show you this so we have the tag here right and then this actually comes out there with this pin so this opens out and we have a little tag in here that I made and I added some glitter paste there, gold glitter paste. So that comes there. Then we have a pocket here. Just some extra paper to write on. And a plain tag that can be written on. So there's a little tag there. <laughs> and that's chipboard. So yeah, so this goes like so with this pretty clip. And you know, you can leave it like that. Or you can tuck it behind here. And there goes your extra journaling card from Amity Bloom. There you go. These pages are mostly 
dyed with food coloring, just stamping I did. A bit of a collage so I could hang another um, dangle. And so on, two pockets with tags, simple tags. I added this, I love the stitching I did on it, so there's also a lot of stitching, another journaling card, and pockets, there's more of that glazing there. This I added, um, I didn't bind it together because you know they can be used to write on and maybe put in different places. Um, so there's a few of these here, three, so that just goes in this pocket. And then we have this little guy here. And this opens for writing. And there's more writing. And then of course there is an envelope in here as well. And I just put this there to hold it all together. I'm just wondering where's my little... What did I do with my tag? Oh uh, yeah. Maybe I should put... No, it's got enough there. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just going to put this clip back on. And they come in handy, these, you know, when you do your journals and you want to stick stuff inside. And this is just writing, writing, writing. Here I did a pocket. This comes in the kit as well. So the tag. And just a little tag in here. More of that glazing. And writing, writing, writing. See, I love the blue. I like that it's incorporated, this kit, a different color. And this is just from my... From my stash I just liked it I thought it went nicely with that writing paper I just printed it small from the kit dangle and here I put a fabric pocket and just a little cutie pie journaling card so that goes in there so that is that one let's move oh there's my because I need to find a place for it you know Let's put that aside. And then we have this one, same spine. And I thought maybe she could write whatever she wanted in there. Volume one, volume two. <laughs> oh, and the back is the same as the other one, but I did the, the cover different. I didn't want to make it exactly the same. So let's just leave. This is not attached, so if she doesn't like it, she can remove it. She sent me these beautiful, did I show you on here? On this one. This beautiful charm. My client sent me to use on the um, cover. So, yeah. And then I used, she sent me two, so of course I used it here too. I made a big mason jar because she loves mason jars. And I just added this fabric. I thought it was quite cute. It was a fiddly thing to make, but I did it. And this is from a flower, and it almost looks like a beehive, so I thought it would go great there. And. So this goes in here nice and gentle and this is just you know a tag and this is from Tim Holtz because it's full of bees there and it gives the names etc etc so moving on let's go let's just straighten that and here we have I just put a chipboard there and this opens and it's got space oh look I even put a little card in there so it is magnetized as well so there's plenty of writing space on the cover then we have a little from an old bracelet of mine or actually my mother's this is from the client and this is one of those pads I'm not gonna unwrap the whole thing that you can just you know use for writing and with this gorgeous lace oh, oh what was that I hope it's not a power cut I would be devastated. Now this opens like so, but first we have a card which has got glazing on there as well. Just a little tag. This goes in the front of this pouch. Hang on. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, there we go. So it's a pocket, which I will get in one of these days. Yeah, here it is. And I like to just put it like so. And then we have a vellum envelope, a raggedy envelope with the card inside. There's another very cute little, um, isn't he cute? <laughs> a bee. I think I got them off Pixabay. Can't remember. <laughs> and this can be used for photographs or whatever. And in here is another one of those um, glazed cards. 
and there's a tag in there as well so that goes like so I don't know if you can hear the thunder, thunder behind me. Can you hear it? And just thin gold ribbon. Lots of stitching. Just a bit of a simple collage. Another one from my client. Beautiful little bee. And the double pocket that comes in the kit. And just, you know, the usual journaling cards. This is a great big belly band. There is a tuck spot here. Scrapbook paper. A photograph can be in beautiful right it's a really nice kit guys I just did some um, stenciling there sticker and just your usual pages another Tim Holtz and has um, writing space see don't you just love the addition of the blue I do that's from Amity Bloom small pocket some fabric and here is another belly band so something can go in there there's a card so it's like a double belly band so because there's one here too using one of the tags from the kit big pocket i stuck this on and these are gorgeous look at this also online i can't remember where i got it now you know i'm really bad like that anyway but you guys know that this is a three pockets full of stuff amity bloom um just you know tags another journaling card and um, an envelope with stuff inside it's an extra little booklet that opens also from Amity Bloom this is from An Amity Bloom that's a gorgeous little envelope I made from one of her journal pages because it's got the daisies so I thought it went quite well and writing can be put show or photograph so that goes in there I also bought a scrapbook a pad with beads in it I used all sorts big um, a tag and that just goes in there which has room for more fabric writing writing is this one got to uh, no that one doesn't have a pocket some of them have pockets you know more writing also off the internet uh, a 3d embossed i just stamped some little bees on there i thought they were cute this is from amity bloom another one of the oh i should have done something there oh i can't i <laughs> could <laughs> but it's but actually that'll be nice for a little photograph or even right fabric and then look at this great big um this is a fly or a bee it's a bee now nah, because i only looked up bees <laughs> and this is a great big stamp and i just use a a pair of scissors you know those fancy ones let's go moving on another pocket this this i think is from graphic fairy not sure but i think it's from yeah anyway maybe not don't quote me on that that's a bit of a collage here we go and then here's a little pouch thing with a uh, 3d embossing and this is a little vellum envelope and it's just got a few bits and pieces inside to play with this was also an envelope here and then it just opens like this so it's a trifold another one of those can you see the there with a tag from another kit and it just opens there's, there's a tuck spot in here also from amity blue this card i'm not going to take it out and um also a laminated pocket here that i stitched, stitched on and there's a pocket there pocket here and so on and i just thought it looked cute in this little bag and then here's another um shaker and this is some beautiful paper I bought a very long time ago, which I intended to use for my wedding album, which I still haven't made. You see that? <laughs> and that goes in there. So this opens. We have two pockets here. This is, very, this is quite cute. A whole lot of collage with a fussy cut bee. 
And of course, this is an envelope. I, th I can't remember if there's anything inside. And I just added some goodies. So this goes gently in here. See there? And another envelope from Amity Bloom. This is all Amity Bloom, actually. And um, yeah, it's got a little stamp. I love these little deers. So that goes there. And we have a side pocket, another little tag spot there, stickers. And we have another place here, also with the envelope. And I added that with just a few stickers and stuff inside that my client can use to put. Oh, sweet. So you see how busy I've been <laughs> with these. And these tags, Amity Bloom from the kit. I think I used two kits in here. Tag spot. I love these bird stamps here. And this is another little envelope. So this is a pocket here. Almost like a library card thing. This is can be also used as a tuck spot. Uh, and there's still plenty of writing space. So we have another pocket here. We have a humongous tag that I made. Two little pockets here. Uh, no, I made these. They're not from the kit. And this is just cut out. So that goes there, made a pocket, this is another envelope that I had in my kit, I know my client likes mushrooms, it's got a little card in there, or journal card, pocket, so again writing, oh I, where am I going, <laughs> I must remember to put this somewhere because it's really beautiful, and we have, oh, this is a pocket as well. Um, now this is a laminated thing that I've made and I thought I've, I've stamped a photograph stamp on there. So I thought a photograph could go in there. And then this is a little bag of sequins etc to fill and you can make it a shaker pocket. So once it's done, and even, I don't suppose, suppose you could even put a little photograph here because you see I've left it open. So, yeah. Uh, Hang on, it's just got a bit caught in the lace here. Yeah? So the client, see this comes out, so she can put the photograph on there and then um, just glue it up afterwards. See, so it looks like that and then it'll be a shaker thing. So I don't even think I need to put my pin there. Let me take that out and here, spot. Um, another envelope I made, a tag, and this is actually sorry silk, and it's got like a beehive pattern, so I thought that was rather cool. And there is a card, let me show you this bee, because he's really, oh, this one I left open, so she can either glue it back, you know, down, or uh, use it to write on. Look at my bee, isn't he beautiful? So that goes in there. And this just a, a piece of ephemera that can be turned into a tag, whatever. There we go. Stamping. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, this is also quite beautiful here. So we have two little pockets here. Then this opens so it can be written on a piece of silk. And two envelopes. Two little envelopes for her to put stuff inside. And that, my friends. My ladybugs are the two um, journals that I've been busy with. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through and I hope you got some ideas for your journals. And I will see you again very soon. Ciao now. Bye bye.